Prob Tinubu, BC Akinde's source of wealth. Afeni Ferries, Ayo Adebanjo tells EFCC, if you want to be honest and truth, probe these guys. Hello, my wonderful people. In case you are not aware, a few days ago, himself and Buhari were doing for he's a jolly good fellow and they were having a very nice time. Listen, the same man that both of them were doing book launch and, you know, um, sharing pleasantries, which is good, all things, if all things are equal, fair and square. However, in 1980, was he 86, 85, 84, 85, 86, Buhari was the same person who sent Akinde to prison for what? For 44 years. Why? For fraud, malpractices, and taking money that belongs, you know, that does not belong to him. You know, all this uh, fraud, all this uh, uh, laundry and the rest is all really called thief. There's no other name for it. The real name for it is people who have stolen. And today they are jolly good fellows. And Ayo Abdeba and Joyce asking Afeni Ferry and the rest of them, say probe the real people. Let's get to the bottom of all that is currently happening. Probe what is really happening. How did they get their wealth? How did they get the money? You need to investigate. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Ayo Adebanjo, leader of the Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Ferry, on Thursday called on the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, to probe Bola Tinubu, national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and BC Akinde, APC founding member. Adebanjo said, EFCC should probe Tinubu and Akinde's source of wealth. He should. He made a call while reacting to the claim of Akinde's autobiography, My Participation, that Tinubu built him a house. In a statement he signed, the Afeni Ferry leader denied Akinde's claim that Tinubu built him a house in Lekki area of Lagos State. The 93-year-old also urged the anti grief agencies to probe his position on the matter. The statement reads partly, I hereby authorize the EFCC to verify the above facts. It is alleged that Chief B.C. Akinde building a Ile Orogun, which I understand is more than double the expenses of my house in Lekki and some other properties he has in, he has in Lagos and abroad. We are furnished by Bola Tinubu. His house in Ibadan was also alleged to have been built by the contractor that built the secretariat of Oshogbo when he was the governor of Oshun State. I hereby challenge Chief B.C. Akinde to clear the air by disclosing the source of finances, financing these properties as I have done above. As Shiwajwa met Bola Tinubu, the great philanthropist should also disclose the source of his wealth with which he bankrupted the, the election of AP, he bankrolled the election of APC in the southwest and that of General Muhammad Buhari and his various properties in Lagos. These people should not be left unattended to. If Nigerian government truly wants to get to the bottom of all this, investigate and give Nigerians your finding. Let us all know exactly what is going on. So this is what is happening right now. So uh, everybody is asking and is wondering what exactly is going on. Who did we offend that the country is the way it is today? Why? Why are we just in this kind of position where we don't even have people who cares for the nation? All they care about, I beg your pardon, is how to amass wealth for themselves. And they don't care what happened to the masses, you see. That is the terrible state at which things are. They don't care what happened to the masses. No. To them, that's, that does not matter. The masses will always be the masses. They will ever be there. So the real people that need uh, urgent attention is themselves. What a terrible state of mind to be. What a very depraved state of mind to be. Sadly, these are the things that are going on. This is part of what we are experiencing. So Nigerians, how do we sort out all this problem? How do we sort it out? Now, Afeni Ferry leader is exposing 
that if really EFCC wants to prove that, you know, they are doing their job, they should probe these people, they should investigate and let us get to the bottom and the very bottom of all these things that are happening. Let's get to the bottom of it. You know, let's get to the very bottom of it. Let's really understand these things. Let's know what exactly is going on. Probe Tinubu, probe uh, BC, okay? Because these people, if you know the, if you know the things that have gone on, even Buhari, probe Buhari as well. The, the wealth and all the houses, everything they've acquired, where did they get the money? Buhari, Tinubu, we all know that, um, you know, Tinubu sponsored the APC, uh, you know, Buhari's election when he was here. He sponsored it largely, you know, he sponsored it 2015. He told the South, that's why he's very confident that um, he can do whatever he wants to do. Nobody will question him. That's why he's very confident and he said nobody will question him and they should go ahead and, you know, investigate these people. The bullying boundary are moving. Did anybody ask any question? No. Was any question asked? No. The things continue. You see these people to a large extent. We are just we have we have come to a place where God will be the one to help us. Because we have such people whose hearts, okay, is not with the nation. They don't care. And they uh, they don't even care whatever goes on. Okay. If anybody likes, they should put their head on the armor and hit it hard. They don't care. And these are people that want to be leaders, that want to rule, lead in one capacity or the other. So EFCC has been charged. We hope that Bawa will pick that up. We hope it will not go into the, into the, it go in unnoticed and nothing will be done about it. We hope that EFCC will rise up. Again, EFCC, not be every fish, not be that they catch for rival, not be every fish, not be every fish. And that's EFCC is a parable. EFCC knows what I'm talking about. You know, I know that the challenge has been thrown there, but we'll see how they will play out in this challenge. We know. We'll see how it will play out in this challenge. Even EFCC cannot just, it's not everybody they probe. It's some people, and that's the way they roll. It's not everybody they probe. So this is what is going on. Not, they don't probe everybody. They only probe the people. They, don't, they only probe some people, not everybody. They real people, they go scot free. That's the nation we are in. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like, or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.